Hi hearts, it's Michelle from the Healing Hearts. How's it going? So it's really nice to communicate with all of you guys. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined. Um, we're not a very big group yet, but we are a very sweet group and a very loving group and I can feel all the energy and I appreciate you being here so much and sharing along with my journey and um, hearing what spirit has to say through me. So um, I think the, the topic that's really on everybody's mind right now is what's happening outside of us, what's happening in our world right now, not just our town, our city, our province, our state, our country. It's happening all around the world. And we all know what that is. I don't have to go into detail. I don't have to update you guys on any of that. And I'm not going to go into channeling it or um, bringing forth more information at this time about it because I've done that. Um, a lot of people have done that and there is a lot of information out there. But what I do want to talk to you about today is a little bit of something else. And this is about your self care. This is about caring for yourself especially at a time when things are different, surreal, um, uncertain. This is one time in history. This is a historical time that's happening that we're observing before our very eyes. I know there are, are many people, I've communicated with many people that are in some uncertain circumstances. Um, pay, not knowing when that's coming in or where that's coming from, being laid off. Um, a lot of different circumstances that people are having right now. My heart goes out to absolutely everyone that is dealing with something or some things in their family. My heart also goes out to absolutely everybody in service right now. And I'm talking about the grocery stores that are running and all of the people that work there, our medical community, our nurses, our doctors, our pharmacists, our pharmacist assistants, all these people that are showing up each and every day to make sure that we still get our necessities, that we still get what we really need and that are there chugging through everything and putting their lives on the line. And my heart also goes out to absolutely every single service worker of every kind, whatever you may be in service to, in service to your heart. You could be sitting at home and um, be sending love around the world, praying, whether you are in service with spirit, you're ministering, you are sending love and light of any type to anyone helping your next door neighbor. It doesn't matter what it is, thank you to you. My heart goes out to you because this is how we will change the world. This is how we are going to step into this new age is by understanding that we are all as one. There's not one of us that is better than another. There is not one of us that is um, more deserving than another. We are in this world together. And the only way that we are going to see real change in this world continue is by becoming unified. And that's what's happening. As scary and uncertain as the circumstance is, this is an opportunity for us to really look at our world and understand that we have a choice on how this goes forward. And the choice is that it's not just about us. It's about the planet we stand on and the people we stand on it beside, the creatures that we stand on it beside. It's about starting to ask ourselves the questions of where our food comes from, where our products come from. It gives the opportunity for us to understand if we're holding on to something, are we holding on to resentments? Are we holding on to pain from the past? Because folks, this is the time that all of this is to be let go, to move into this new frequency, 
and right now we are headed into a very big shift and this is known as the time of awakening it's here and this is a time that many of us have been waiting for for a very long time and it's going to mean something different for everyone this is still a very unique experience where human beings here having a perspective that is ours and having our own experience as much as we are having an experience collectively. So be kind to yourself, take care of yourself. Do not watch too much TV. Do not indate yourself with the news. Do not drown yourself in fear. Really think about what it is that you are thinking about. What are you putting out there? What are you putting out in your subconscious? What are you putting out from your heart? Because that's what you're creating. We're at this blank page, guys. We're at this, this spot that we are now creating the life that we truly deserve and truly desire. We're able to create an earth that we're able to really live in, that we're really able to enjoy living in and coming into the thousand years of peace. To do that, we all have to band together. To do that, we all have to do our part. And our part is staying at home, is social distancing, all of the things that we can do to get through this time, but also take advantage of the time that we have, the reflection. So with that, hearts, that's my message for today. It's time for me to run along. I've got work to do, things to do. I love each and every one of you, and I am so grateful that you're here, and I'm so grateful that you're watching this video. So please take some love that I'm offering you today and spread it to your family, spread it to your neighbors, and spread it to the rest of the world. We will get through this. We will absolutely get through this. Take care. Have an awesome day. Bye, hearts.